Today we delve into the intricate world of political alliance, where strategic moves can make or break the fortunes of the parties. In recent years, the BJP's alliance building efforts have been significantly shaped by the strategic acumen of none other than Amit Shah. His astute maneuvers have played a pivotal role in solidifying the BJP's coalition with various regional parties. Reflecting back to pre-2014 era, during Atal Bihari Vajpayee's leadership, the BJP-led NDA government witnessed remarkable growth marked by the inclusion of influential parties like the TMC, AIADMK, Shiv Sena and the BJD. Despite initial challenges, the NDA managed to secure a formidable position in the political landscape, with the collective strength of 261 seats aided by the crucial support of the parties like the TDP. However, the journey wasn't devoid of setbacks, as seen in the 2004 elections when the NDA's India Shining campaign was thwarted by the Congress-led UPA. Despite such challenges, the NDA persevered, maintaining a significant presence across various states in India. Yet, the alliance witnessed setbacks with the departure of the key partners such as BJD, JMM and AJSU alongside other like TMK. TMC, DMK, MDDMK, PMK, LJP, and INLD, citing reasons ranging from ideological differences to disagreement over seat sharing arrangement. Stay tuned as we explore further development and implications of this intricate political dynamics. Over the years, the National Democratic Alliance has witnessed a flux of partners, with some joining forces, while others chose to part ways. In a series of development, significant shifts occurred within the NDA coalition, starting with NDA alliance partner BJD, which left the alliance just over a month before the 2009 elections. The JMM withdrew from the alliance in 2012. Along with it, all Jharkhand Students' Union also left the alliance. The TMC was part of NDA from 1998 to 2007. It joined the Congress party led UPA before the 2009 elections. The MDMK and PMK left NDA in 2002. The Ram Vilas Paswan led LJP withdrew following the 2002 Gujarat riots and the Indian National Lok Sabha Lok Dal left NDA due to seat sharing disagreement during Haryana Assembly elections 2009. This brings us to the new BJP, the Bhatia Janta Party, that came into power under Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2014. The 2014 general elections marked a significant turning point for the Bhatia Janta Party, heralding a new era of political dominance and transformative leadership. Under the dynamic stewardship of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the BJP swept to power with a historic mandate, securing an unprecedented majority in the Lok Sabha. This landslide victory reflected the resounding endorsement of the Indian electorate for the BJP's vision of progress, development and inclusive governance. With a resolute commitment to reform and revitalization, the BJP embarked on a journey to fulfill the aspirations of the nation, ushering in an era of growth, prosperity and optimism. The 2014 elections not only reaffirmed the BJP's position as a formidable political force, but also symbolized a fresh dawn for India, brimming with opportunities and possibilities. As the country embraced this new chapter in democratic journey, the BJP emerged as a beacon of hope, steering the nation towards a brighter future, filled with promise and potential. Amit Shah has been an instrumental revitalizing the Bhatia Janta Party through strategic maneuvers since assuming the role of BJP president in 2014. His multifaceted approach includes expanding the party's base in traditionally weak states, leading to significant electoral gains in regions like West Bengal and the northeastern states. Shah's emphasis on grassroots engagement, exemplified by initiatives such as the Mera Boot Sabse Mazboot campaign, has strengthened the party's support base and volunteer mobilization. Moreover, his strategic alliances and coalition building efforts have contributed to the BJP's electoral successes for forging partnerships with regional parties. Overall, 
Amit Shah's strategic acumen and commitment to organizational excellence have played a pivotal role in revitalizing the BJP, solidifying its status as India's dominant political force. In the transformative 2014 Uttar Pradesh election, the Bhatia Janta Party secured a remarkable victory, winning 71 out of 80 Lok Sabha seats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dynamic leadership and the party's campaign focus on development goods, governance and inclusive growth resonated strongly with voters, signalling a significant shift in the state's political dynamics. Similarly, in the 2019 West Bengal elections, the BJP made unprecedented gains by winning 18 out of 42 Lok Sabha seats, a substantial increase from its previous performance. These electoral triumphs highlight the BJP's growing influence and organizational strength in both states, showcasing its ability to connect with voters and convey its vision for progress. With strategic campaigning, strong leadership and grassroots mobilization, the BJP continues to emerge as a formidable political force, ushering in positive change and prosperity across India. Now coming to other states, Andhra Pradesh, where the BJP-led NDA government has recently entered pre-poll alliances with Chandra Babu Naidu-led Telugu Desam Party and Pawan Kalyan's Jana Sena under the leadership of Amit Shah. In Bihar, Amit Shah orchestrated an electoral understanding with all ally Nitish Kumar and brought in Hindustan Awam Morcha of Jitan Ram Manji, Upender Kushwaha's RLJD and Mukesh Sani-led Vikashil Insan Party. Moving to Uttar Pradesh, Shah successfully persuaded Rashtriya Lord Dal, led by Jayant Chaudhary, to join forces, shifting away from the Samajwadi-led opposition. Meanwhile, in Tamil Nadu, Shah strategically formed an alliance with Patali Makal Skachi and other parties like TTV Dinakaran, led AIADMK, and Tamil Manila Congress, founded by J.K. Mupnar. Amit Shah, who is not only a senior leader but also one of the key architects behind the party's remarkable rise to power. Sri Amit Shah's strategic approach encompasses multifaceted strategy aimed at preserving and nurturing the culture, social, ethnic, caste, community and religious diversity of local populations over the long term. Engaging with smaller regional parties that hold significant sway among the specific caste of communities not only assists the ruling dispensation in consolidating support, but also offers valuable insights into the economic challenges and social issues confronting these groups. Many of these regional parties have deep-seated roots within particular caste groups or garner support from other backward caste, most backward or scheduled caste. Collaborating with these regional entities presents an opportunity for the ruling party to address historical inequities and enhance the welfare of socially and economically marginalized individuals. Furthermore, by prioritizing local issues, regional aspirations and development endeavors, the central government communicates a resolute commitment to addressing the concerns of the populace. These alliances also facilitate the BJP cultivation of stronger ties with local communities as regional parties possess an intimate understanding of their linguistic and regionalist sentiments. In practical terms, BJP's partnership with parties such as Apnadal in Uttar Pradesh, which bolstered support among Kurmi voters, and the Nishad party, further solidifying Nishad votes, underscores the efficacy of this strategy. Similarly, in Jharkhand, the collaboration with the All Jharkhand Student Union, despite resulting in just one Lok Sabha seat in 2019, played a pivotal role in consolidating support from the Kushwaha voter for the BJP.